the three teacher unions that embarked on a nationwide strike from Monday, December 9, have called off their strike with immediate effect. The unions, comprising the Ghana National Association of Teachers, NAT, the National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, and the Coalition of Concerned Teachers, CCT, declared the strike following what they described as legacy debts owed them by the Ghana Education Service. In a statement signed by Thomas Musa, General Secretary of NAT, on behalf of the three teacher unions, the statement said the decision to call off the strike was based on the advice of their lawyers on the consequences of the court order secured by the National Labour Commission on December 11, asking them to return to the classroom. The teacher unions have, however, asked their lawyers to obtain copies of the court processes, study it, and advise them accordingly. Right, so let's get onto the telephone lines. Uh, our, our colleague Daniel Opoku has been following the strike. He's joining us on the telephone lines now for some update on this. Uh, Daniel, thank you and thanks for your time. The General Secretary is being, has been speaking, the General Secretary, Executive Secretary uh, of the National Labour Commission. What exactly has he been saying? Right, um, we, we, we just finished speaking with the leadership of NAC, and we spoke with the president, Madame Philippa Larson, and uh, basically, yes, they confirmed they have called up the strike. The reason for them calling up was the fact that the National Labour Commission secured a court order, which was just about, I think, the close of the day yesterday, they secured a court order, compelling the entire leadership to call up the strike for resume work for negotiations to continue. So after a careful discussion with the... Uh, um, lawyer with their legal team, they decided to respect the court's order. It's the reason they called off the, the strike. And what the leadership is saying is that now, more or less, they have lost confidence in the National Labor Commission. Because ideally, they said they would have thought the National Labor Commission would have assembled them in a meeting. But unfortunately, that meeting could not take place. For that reason, the commission thought it wise to go to court. So they, they, are, they are saying that they have confidence in the National Labor Commission again. And any matter regarding the payment of the arrears should be dealt with in court. Mm, right. We know also, uh, Danny, that the court order is for 10 days. Do we know if the teachers are suggesting that they possibly might resume the strike after their monies are not paid? I, I can't hear you clearly. I'm saying that we know that the court order uh, issued by the High Court on the instructions of the National Labour Commission uh, is for 10 days. Do we know if the teachers uh, plan to resume the strike in the event that the money owed them is not paid? Right. Now, what the teachers are saying, that when, when you read the contents of the letter, which was secured by the NRC, yes, and they just 10 days. Now, beyond 10 days, what they are saying is that there's a possibility to the resume the strategy. They don't see any payments being made. Right. Or in this case, you have the NRC going back to secure another court injunction consistently until the issues are resolved. Even right. though they are not happy, they are respected a court order. Within the 10-day ten, ten period, they are waiting the leadership of both the Ghana Education Service and the, to, to fine-tune and be able to pay their arrears to them. I don't know that there's a possibility they'll go back to the strike. All right, uh, Daniel, grateful for your time. Thank you very much. Daniel Poco is our man on the uh, labor beat. He has been following this extremely.